Alrighty, what's going on today, you guys? So today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the KRK Rocket app. Um, for those of you who aren't totally familiar with KRK Systems, I'll give you a little bit of a brief background. Um, KRK Systems began back in 2003. Uh, they are a subsidiary of the Gibson Company, and that is when they produced their Generation 1 KRK monitors. Um, we are currently in Generation 4 now in 2020, and you are looking at the KRK G4 8s. Um, that stands for Generation 4, of course, and 8-inch low-frequency drivers. There are tons of different sizes to choose from, including 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10 as well. Um, so they've, they've definitely come uh, quite a long way in terms of just overall quality, overall design, overall sound, um, pretty much everything. Um, and one of the coolest new additions, in my opinion, is the uh, addition of an application. Um, and, you know, of course, we all know that the digital world is is, is huge now. And then the fact that they've kind of moved their studio monitor um, design over into the digital world in, in the form of an application is, is pretty awesome. Um, the KRK Audio Tools app, uh, it's available in both the uh, iOS store and the Android store. So you can get it on any smartphone if you have it. Um, it's essentially a professional tool suite um, for monitor tuning. Now, as you know, the KRK Systems Studio monitors have the DSP-driven onboard EQ here in the back. Uh, this works with an LED uh, screen right here, and you can go through and kind of, you know, make minimal changes to your um, studio monitors via um, the back there, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, if, if you're noticing that maybe in your... Um, in your room, there's a little bit too much bass, um, or maybe not enough treble, or whatever. <laughs> you can go in there and you know um, adjust things to make the sound uh, a little flatter um, for your mixing or listening environment. Um, the cool thing about uh, having the smartphone app is that you can do it from anywhere. Um, you know, I can be sitting in the back of my room here listening to my studio monitors and notice, hey, from the back here, it doesn't sound. Um, like I would really like it to. I want to maybe try and, you know, t uh, tune it up a little bit so that it, um, you know, maybe can can become a little flatter, a little bit easier on the ears. Uh, there are a couple tools that are included with the KRK Audio Tools app. First, you have the Spectrum RTA. Uh, this essentially measures and displays the frequency spectrum of the input audio signal in real time, which is really, really cool. Um, it shows what's going into your studio monitors, which can be really helpful because, you know, you want to know that what is going in is what's coming out. Um, there's also a level meter tool, uh, which can be used to calibrate the monitor levels. Um, again, extremely helpful because uh, some of these KRKs are known to, um, you know, have uh, a little bit of a lopsided sort of sound, um, meaning that your right one and your left one may not be at the same level, even if it says so on the back. So make sure that you're, you know, um, calibrating them, uh, and that level meter tool helps a lot. There is also an EQ recommendation tool. Um, it's used to help determine which of the EQ presets may work best in your room. Um, there's a monitor align tool. Uh, it's really, really great to align the angle of your studio monitors. Um, again, super helpful for um, your, your making sure that you're kind of in that equilateral triangle when you're sitting and mixing and listening. Um, and there are also a few a few other tools, you know, the delay tool, uh, polarity tool, and a signal generator as well. So uh, it's it's really really great. Um, it's really cool that they came out with this. There's not a lot of companies that are doing this now, and so I think it's really separating KRK from uh, the rest of the market. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the KRK app, or if you have any uh, insights into why you like it or why you don't, please feel free to say so in the comments. All right, take it easy.